Are you looking for the fastest way to edit in DaVinci Resolve 17? Hi, I'm Mick Swizzit. In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way to edit in DaVinci Resolve using the Loop Deck CT. Let's get into it. Welcome back to another Loop Deck CT video. My name is Mix Wizard. This time around, I'm going to show you how to turn your Loop Deck CT into an editing beast while using DaVinci Resolve 17. This will speed up your editing like you would not believe. And if you hang around, I will share a bonus that will make editing so much easier while you're using the Loop Deck CT. At the time of this recording, I'm using Loop Deck CT version 4.2.5 and DaVinci Resolve Studio 17.1 beta version. All of the buttons on the Loop Deck CT can be assigned to a command. Now it's time to take all of these two and three keyboard shortcuts and turn them into the press of one button. That's right, one button. Now let's fire up DaVinci Resolve 17 using the Loop Deck CT. Let me show you some of my custom buttons that I've set up in DaVinci Resolve so you can have an idea how to set yours up on your Loop Deck CT. Right here on the big wheel in the center, I have it set up where this is play, this is stop, and this is play in reverse. I have a zoom in and a zoom out here on this dial, but if you press down on the dial, it's set up to zoom to fit. When you're using DaVinci Resolve, you want to go to the different pages on your keyboard. You have to hit Shift plus 2 through 8. But on the Loop Deck CT, I have those exact shortcuts set up here using buttons 2 through 8. Let me show you. Let's run through the different pages so you can see a few of the custom buttons that I have set up. On the media page, Pressing the project setting right here will allow me to look at my frame rate and any other settings I want to adjust before starting this project. On the cut page, let's say you want to color a clip. All you have to do is click on the clip, choose the color from the right hand side, press down on the dial, and that's it. Also on the cut page, I can press this button to go to source clip. Very important. Also on the cut page, we all know that in is to select the beginning of the clip where you want to use, and O is for out. I want you to check out this two command combo I'm about to turn into just the press of one button. This shortcut will mark out and insert the timeline at the same time. How about that? I know, hold the applause for now. Over on the edit page, here are some of my most used commands. Here's one of my favorites, Auto Sync, where you can match up different clips, uh, different waveforms recorded with different devices. So easy, so nice. Here's a button for a compound clip. If I press this button, it will return to the beginning of the project. Let me just show you a few more custom buttons I have set up. Over here on the color page, here's a quick look at some of my buttons. You may have noticed I have an inspector button set up on most of my pages. That's a very important feature that I use all the time when editing. Over here on the Fairlight page, I have a button set up for turning the mixer on and off as well as the meter. I have a button here to start recording for voiceovers if needed. Matter of fact, this whole voiceover was recorded on the Fairlight page inside of DaVinci Resolve. By now you can see, you can take some of your favorite commands, assign them to a button to speed up your workflow on the Loop Deck CT. I want to stop and give you the bonus now, because I know some viewers will just skip to the end of this video for the bonus. If you want to have the same custom icons like you see on my Loop Deck CT, here's a website where you can grab these presets for DaVinci Resolve 17. There are 1,500 icons and 880 custom actions ready to go at your fingertip. You can get the slideshow from this website, www.slideshowfx.net. Now, let's go back to the Loop Deck CT where I can show you how to create your personal profile and custom buttons. First, 
Go to your Luke XCT setup. It should look like this. Make sure you go to the top right corner on the Luke XCT setup page. Make sure you are using DaVinci Resolve profile. Let's create a new workspace. Click on it, create a name, and save it. Click on the custom actions from the menu on the left hand side. From here, you can search or choose an action and drag it into an empty slot like this. But say you want to create a shortcut that's not already preloaded. Then you can create your own menu from the custom action. Click on the little folder right here. Give it a new name and save it. Your new folder will show up here at the bottom. Inside of your new menu, you can now set up your custom action. Give your new shortcut a name. Let's go to DaVinci Resolve Keyboard Shortcut and find a keyboard command that you want to enter. Let's try locking all audio tracks. The command for that is Option Shift F9. Enter that command, then click on the plus to enter it. Now let's choose the icon for this command. Click here on the icon button. Now let's open up the folder that you purchased and you can go in there and search for the icon to fit the command that you want. Now like for this example, we're gonna choose an icon that fits lock all. Okay, let's choose this icon right here. This icon looks like it will work perfect for this command. Now save it. Then go back to the left hand side to the new menu you created. Drag it over to any empty button over on the loop deck CT. That's it. Now that command is ready to go at the press of one button. Remember to repeat these same steps for any other commands that you want to do and put on your loop deck CT. Being able to set up custom actions like this is where the loop deck CT will shine over other controllers. And hopefully I have shown you how you can speed up your workflow tremendously using the Loop XCT with DaVinci Resolve 17. In my opinion, this is by far the quickest way I found to edit in DaVinci Resolve. Just imagine, after you set up the shortcuts the way you love working, then your muscle memory kick in, you will be editing so fast in DaVinci Resolve. Oh, one more thing. Let me show you how to export your Loop Deck profile. That way, if you're gonna use it on another computer, you can import it in. Go here, click on profile, then click on whatever software that you was working on. So Photoshop or DaVinci Resolve. Click the X, click export. Save it to your desktop or wherever you love saving your files to. And that's it, and then Put it on a flash drive or external hard drive and then when you go to the other computer of your choice just import it and you can pick up where you left off at if you're still here check out what else the loop deck ct can do away from davinci resolve the loop deck ct can be used with other programs like ableton live screen flow photoshop of custom presets built in and ready to go you can also use the loop deck ct to set up command actions with any software that you have already installed on your computer. Like you saw in the beginning, where I used the Loop Deck CT to fire up DaVinci Resolve, here's some of the other applications I used the Loop Deck CT to open. That's it. If you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Mix wizard, mix wizard, mix wizard.